this channel, I'll be talking about whatever I fucking want. Sky Jackson was a Disney Channel star widely known as Suri from Jesse and Bunked, which is a spin-off series from the creators of Jesse. So about three years ago, Sky Jackson was exposing the white children who said a racial slur. And since 2020, she has apologized and admits she didn't recognize that guacamole nigga penis was me. Was me. But a deranged Twitter user known as Blue Squid Comms has decided to relive the moment instead of moving on. So without further explanation, I'll jump right into it. So the treat reads, has the internet forgotten when Sky Jackson doxed white teenagers, some as young as 13, for saying the n-word and getting no punishment for it, in fact getting praised by the mainstream media in 2020. And then everyone just forgot about it, like it never happened, I'm younger. Okay, I understand that doxing a teenager's personal phone numbers and addresses is wrong, but so is saying the n-word. Should there be another way to expose the racist? Okay, yeah, sure. Should someone else educate a child about the n-word? Yeah, sure. But guess what? We've been doing that for years. And the only reason someone, some people on the internet have been telling someone on the internet why this is wrong and why that is wrong and how wrong is it to say that is because of lazy parents who don't pay fucking attention to what their white child has done in the past. In fact, that parent who probably taught their child good manners or taught them the correct way to behave was never educated on why their white child shouldn't use the n-word, especially if it's a racist meme created by a young white male who probably lives with conservative right-wing parents. School staff, as well as workplaces that some teens work at, should have been handling this more often in the first place, too. Colleges should be more aware of the things someone has said online and therefore remove them if they said racist shit because they weren't educated. Back in 2020, when I first heard about Sky Jackson exposing the racist for saying the N word, that's what it really was. In my view, it didn't have to do with doxing. But this dumb fuck situation from many commentary creators made it all about doxing instead of calling out the racist who said an unfunny racist me. And if you're the type of person who thinks that Sky Jackson should get the punishment for calling the per calling out the person who was saying the N-word, then you're a brain dead delusional being. Sky Jackson has the right intentions to be calling out racist minors, and I highly disagree that she should be punished for calling out for what it really is, and if you support her getting the punishment for calling out the racist, you need help. That being said, I don't agree with the taxes, tactics that she would use in order to call out the racist person 
by doxing the phone numbers and home address. And I do think that there should be a better way to go about it. But however, again, she has the right intentions to be calling out the racist minors and if you're that type of person who thinks Guy Jackson should get the punishment for calling the person for calling out the person who was saying the n-word then you're brain dead delusional being okay please make it make sense you can't punish a black woman for calling out the white teenagers who were once 12 or 13 years old were saying the n-word because it's either doxing or not. This ain't the road you want to be driving to justify the means, buddy. And as for the news media who were praised by Sky Jackson's actions, please don't blame them for reporting what it is. If it has to do with racism, be more willing to understand that it's your job to report what's happening within our planet and the internet in general. And racism remarks do come into play here when they cover it, because at the end of the day, whether you agree with their coverage or not, the majority of Americans and others who aren't Americans are going to not support racism. Plus, Sky Jackson has already addressed this situation and has apologized for not knowing that Guacamole Naked Penis was a meme. And she said that she'll take responsibility for it. For me, I'm glad everyone forgot about it because they don't need to do the cancel culture thing, which according to this Blue Squid Com's tweet was going for was to cancel Sky Jackson because of something she did three years ago. Like seriously, please do. Move on. This isn't 2020 anymore. I don't know why you cared this much about regurgitating the past, but every dumbass has done that already before. And we're all sick and tired of the cancel culture mob canceling people for something that happened in the past. And if you wanted to cancel Sky Jackson now, three years later, because of something she herself has already addressed regarding the doxing situation over racist me, then you need to step outside and do some self reflecting because you don't think clearly well enough to understand.